Hi you guys, Luckfog here and welcome to another FIFA 19 player view and today I'm going to be reviewing the 90 rated prime icon Frank Reichardt. He has got a very nice good looking card. He did cost me in the region of 30,000 coins to complete his loan SBC and in the four games that I played him if he did not score me any goals but he did pick me up two assists and he does have a four star weak foot as well as three star skill moves. Then moving on to his in-game stats, his main standard stats are going to be his 88 reactions, his 91 stand tackle, his 87 slide tackle and finally his 90 strength and I did have the powerhouse chemistry style applied to this um, prime icon Frank Reichardt that's got a very nice well rounded card I'm a little bit surprised though that just for the 90 rated card I know Crespo was a 90 rated and he requires an icon but he's seen he's well known in the community to be already one of the meta icon strikers I wasn't expecting this card to require an icon to be submitted and to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed that you do have to submit an icon for him because you know we've seen plenty of cards like Ruby Costa that have come out that you don't have to submit an icon for so I was a little bit surprised and a bit disappointed that you do have to submit an icon for Frank Reichardt, but even so, this card is absolutely fantastic, and to be honest, I thought he was really, really good. I think he's a fantastic card, and I think definitely CDM is the position you want to be playing him in. Don't get me wrong, he could work as a centre midfielder, but if you want to be getting the best out of this card, CDM is where you want to be playing him, without a doubt. I think he's a quality CDM. Uh, definitely one of the favourite you know CDMs that I've used in FIFA 19, there's no doubt about that, but... Getting into his first pro, it is going to be his passing. This pass, his passing is absolutely insane. You know, you look at his passing, you think 83 passing. That's not the best for a CDM, and you'd be completely right to say that, but uh, his passing's fine. The free kick accuracy, which shouldn't even be in passing, and the curve as well, let down the passing so much. But when you look at the key passing areas for a CDM, you think vision, you think long passing, you think short passing. He delivers in all those areas without fault. 85 vision, 90 short passing, 87 long passing with the powerhouse chem style. He goes to 95 vision. He goes to 99 short passing and 97 long passing. You can't ask for any any more than that his passing is absolutely insane two assists as well in four games from a cdm position this guy is not afraid as well to kind of move up the pitch um his work rates aren't like bad or anything they're, they're sometimes a little bit annoying that he'll push up a little bit too much on certain occasions but sometimes i didn't mind that to be honest uh and that allowed him to get into opportunities where he's got that good passing as well to be able to make passes to even create assists as well for my uh, attackers which was really really nice but his general in player passing his long passing is absolutely superb the way he can just switch the player up is absolutely fantastic he linked obviously very well with Witzel and uh, Steven Gerrard as well who are going to be reviewing tomorrow hopefully on the channel um, if I can get that out although I'm quite busy tomorrow but it'll either be Monday or Tuesday but anyway uh, yeah definitely though passing being a nice big pro to Frank Reichardt the second one being his tackling again another part that I loved about this card 91 stand tackle that goes to 99 with the powerhouse chem style 87 side tackle that goes to 97 his marker goes to 99 heading accuracy remains at 87 which is fine and in interceptions is at 91 and that goes to 96 that is insane i think personally the powerhouse chemistry style is is an absolute obvious best choice for this frank right card to personally go for um because his pace is already fine for the position he's playing in shooting you're not going to really get into any shooting opportunities you could improve his dribbling i suppose but it, it's not a necessity because most cdms you know for a cdm position he's already got better stats than what most cdms do when it comes to a dribbling so for me personally putting a powerhouse chem style definitely suits him most and obviously his defending stats are absolutely fantastic both his stand tackle and slide tackle that marking as well interceptions all very very nice and to be honest you would even make a good center back i'm not saying go and play him as a center back but you could play in there you know if you're trying to defend a big lead or not a big lead but a, you know a tight lead late on you can definitely rely on this guy to make some big tackles to definitely save your team and stop them from conceding he's essentially like a third center back in a sense which is really decent as well and um, just absolutely fantastic when it came to his tackling his final probe is going to be his strength again very nice he's a tall midfielder they're coming in at the height of six foot two nowhere near as tall as me of course but even so uh, 90 strength 90 stamina as well absolutely fantastic 78 aggression isn't the best but I wouldn't pay attention to that stat too much I think that's a bit of a useless stat in all honesty that 90 strength you want to look at and that's absolutely fantastic he's more than capable of being able to bully players and barge them out the way which is what you want from a send you know that's what you want from a CGM you don't get that out of a you know an Angola cancer you definitely don't get that you do out of a Frank Wright card and I think in general Although I'm disappointed you have to submit a prime icon in the sense, or just any icon to the SBC, 
I still think he's worth doing. I think he's a really, really good CDM. And to be honest, I'm tempted to go and do him. I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep Jared. I might sell Jared and maybe might do this SBC. But I do like Jared as well because obviously I love him so much and stuff like that. You know, being a Liverpool fan. But um, this guy is the real deal. I think he's a really, really good icon. And I would without a doubt recommend doing him. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish off this play review. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.